The push to revitalize downtown Newport News continues, including the Yard District. So more and more businesses are moving to the waterfront location. And new at 530, Brenda McIntosh heard from one of the owners of the new businesses. I see a place with the highest quality of life for residents, for sailors, for all of the shipyard workers. Newport News Mayor Philip Jones has big plans for the downtown area and notably the Yard District. Mayor Jones credits the area's transformation to the Bloomberg Harvard City Leadership Initiative. And they come in and they help 40 cities across the country like solve really you know one complex and difficult problem. For Newport News, it's always been how can we activate our downtown? Now, new businesses are setting up shop, like Corkscrews and Brews, which had its grand opening last month. So we have uh, coffee, we have wine, we also have frozen wine, which is different, but in the heat like this, this is a nice summer treat. Co-owner Faith Reed says she picked the location because she saw its potential. You know, I think back in the day, Newport News had like a stigma on it, but now it just seemed like it's making a big change for the future. Aside from new restaurants and shops, events at Victory Landing Park are also drawing people to the area. I see the festivals down here, so it's just becoming a great area, even just to live in, bring your kids here. Mayor Jones says one of the latest initiatives is a summer concert series called Drop the Mic. But imagine free music. Imagine the waterfront. We're going to have uh, tents and cooling shelters. Come out, bring your family. It's a beautiful view, and I'll be out there probably every week. In Newport News, Brenna McIntosh, 13 News Now. Drop the mic is every Thursday this summer from 6 to 8 p.m. at Victory Landing Park.